Today's adventure brings me to Shelby, North Carolina. I am standing out of the inclement weather, well, kinda sorta, as a recording of this, it is February 7th, 2022. Shielded from the cool, crisp raindrops. It was sleeting a little earlier, 33 degrees at the moment, so it has reached above freezing. And this is one of those occasions that I have absolutely no game plan except to meet up with someone who's gonna show me around the area. Should be interesting. Sometimes it's good just to wing it. That's what's happening. Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. First order of business is to get a piping hot caffeinated beverage from a local coffee stand across the way. And then just see how things progress. I'm inviting you to join me on this rainy North Carolina morn. Shall you? And just down the way here, across from the courthouse, is the Lily Bean. Hot coffee and cool people. Yeah, this looks like a good independent spot. Hot coffee and cool people. That's about it. That seems like a good place to get a piping hot caffeinated beverage, if ever there was one. And over here around the corner, looks like a little bit of flooding down here in this stairwell. But take a look at the wall here. There is an assortment. You can have your choice of little photo ops here. You know, where you can stand against the wings. Even some bat wings down there. This is just right across from the coffee place. Same, it's the alley next door. And I want to introduce you to Chad, who has a channel called Coastal Things. And you grew up in this area. I did. I grew up in a town, uh, it's called Bowling Springs. It's probably about 10 or 15 minutes from here, where we're at now in Shelby. We're in Shelby, but you were in Bowling Springs? Yep. Like, Boil, it's boiling like the water. Boiling. Boiling People Springs. here because of the dialect, you either call it Bowling or Bowling Springs. Boil, so we're going to get a, a hot coffee, and then we're going to go to Boiling You're going to take me over to Boiling Springs? Yep. Kind of show me that area? Yep. And then you also said across the way, it's not open today, is a museum to Earl Scruggs? Yep. Is that, did I say that, pronouncing right. that right? Famous banjo player. And he, you say, you were telling me off camera that he did the theme song to what? The Beverly Hillbillies. He's the one that did the theme song to the Beverly Hillbillies. The Ballad of Jed Clampett. That is pretty dang cool. Yep. Are you a coffee drinker? Uh, not usually. Do you mind watching me drink a coffee? That's totally fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go get some coffee. You get a tea, you get a hot tea. Yeah. I don't think this Maybe clock, this clock is not telling correct. That clock is no longer working. <laughs> This is definitely the time with the weather like it is to get something warm though. Either a hot tea or a hot coffee, so. The lily bean. Okay, so I have no, I, I, I say that I have no game plan, so I'm kind of just, I'm kind of just leaving it up to you today. The, from Sounds Coastal good. coastal Things is going to have my, ite, my itinerary for the day. Some nooks and crannies. Some nooks and crannies. Yeah. I like that. All right, let's go in here. All right, I couldn't convince you to get a coffee, so you went with a bottle of Ice cold water. It's 33 degrees out here. You didn't even want a tea. I'm a water guy. I really don't do a whole lot of caffeine. I drink a lot of water too. So since New Year's, I've been kind of on a weight loss thing. And all I've had is coffee and water with the exception of yesterday. I had, what did I have yesterday? I had a soda yesterday and I had a Coca-Cola at the beginning of the month because I did videos about those sodas. But other than that, just coffee and water. No caffeine. No, no caffeine. That's some good willpower. Yeah. Slows me down. Does it? You're just, your yeah. just body does not kinda, need caffeine to operate. Kind of, kind of drag. I drink a lot of caffeine. Okay, so that's like Some the of my opposite. My favorite drinks have caffeine. And Mountain Dew is probably my favorite drink. But uh, do you drink Mountain Dew? Not anymore. It was one of my favorite sodas back when I used to drink a lot of soda. Sprite, ginger ale. Sprite has no caffeine. Peach knee high, like it's mine. Peach knee high. That's a southern drink, right? Knee high. Yep, it is. So if you splurge, you have like a, you have a cheat day. You get a knee high. Yeah. Making our way over there, noticing this truck here. Then over in the window, this antique shop, this cowboy right here. My reflection's in there, but there we go. Now it's tough to see. Well, it's better this way. There's a cowboy right here behind the glass. Got his holster and everything. He is ready for a showdown. And over here is a place called The Chamber. That has kind of a interesting name, The Chamber. Earl Scruggs Center. Okay, we got the we got the light. I'm noticing there's also a mural behind us. It's like a football player was from here. Yep, Bobby Bell. Bobby Bell. Actually, he got a uh, name named a road named after him too, Bobby Bell Boulevard. They just named a road after Bobby Bell. Mm -hmm. 
for Earl Scruggs, who did the theme song for Beverly Hillbillies, known and loved by many that song, that TV show. The, uh, Country Music Hall of Fame, and I think he's won like four or five Grammys. This yeah. is his hometown also. 15 minutes from your hometown. Yeah. Of Boiling Springs is where you grew up. I did. Now, is it called that because there's Boiling Springs there? Yes, there is. It's somewhere near, uh, there's actually a university there called Gardner Webb. And I think it's uh, right near their campus. And from what we can tell, it is closed off, not open today. You also just told me that this used to be, well, the, this town is the county seat, but this is not the courthouse anymore. Used to be the courthouse. Now it's just the museum. Yep. They just built a new courthouse. Now, most of the stuff on your channel is a lot of hiking stuff. You're like big into hiking and the mountains, going to waterfalls and stuff yeah, like that. A lot of destination hikes, like waterfalls. Uh, I got some plane crashes that are out in the woods I found. Oh, wow. There's like five of those I've been to so far. And then, that uh, sounds interesting. The uh, fire towers and lookout towers. There's a challenge I'm doing for those. We're not going to do any hiking today. It's not hiking. Today's yeah. not hiking weather. Won't be too pleasant. Ah. So it's only closed, it's closed yesterday and today because as the recording of this, it is a Monday. It's Monday morning, that's why they're closed. But usually it's 10 to four. Today's Monday, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, today is Monday. Could have got you a belly shirt. <laughs> is that a belly shirt? <laughs> it wouldn't like, be on you. <laughs> it would that's just a valid point. All right, give me a rundown. All right, I'll tell you what, I kind of know. So the wheel up there is the water wheel that's at the uh, fairgrounds here. That's still there? Still here? Yep, it's at our fairgrounds. Okay. It's a couple miles from here. Can we drive by and look at the water wheel? Uh, it's, well, it's gated off, you can't get in. Can you see it from the road, possibly? Maybe. Okay, yeah. maybe we can try that. And that, uh, I think that's Bobby Bell that was on the other mural. With the number one there? Yep. And then this, the carousel is at the uh, city park. Okay. They had it years ago, and then uh, they removed it, and then they rebuilt it. So that's there now. I see Earl up there. Yep. With the banjo. Yep. And this theater has Gone with the Wind playing. Yep, that's Rogers Theater. It's right down the road. It's actually for sale right the, now, I think. The theater's for sale? Yep. You know, I've always wanted to buy an old theater, fix it up yep. in a small town. Kind of like the movie Majestic, the Majestic with Jim Carrey. And that's one of the two uh, Bridges Barbecue restaurants. There's actually two two different families, two sets of Bridges. Two different Bridge families. Yep. Yep. Pretty uh, pretty good barbecue at both of them. I prefer one over the other, but that's the one I prefer the least. <laughs> okay. And there's the Cleveland County Courthouse we just walked past right there. Yep. And then up there it's called the uh, Banker's House. A pretty uh, wealthy family owns it, and they rent it out for different events and things. And that's Earl, like you said. I'm not sure who the golfer is. They do have some golf courses around here, but I'm not sure who that is. And then the rest of these I'm not sure about. But this is the uh, bell tower that's at uh, Garden Web University. This is in Bull and Springs, but we're going to hit in a little bit. Excellent. Now we got one of the local fire engines pulling through. I think they're waving. I can't tell if he was waving or scratching his ear. Okay. But right up here it says Bobby Bobby's Music and Record Shop, a little painting on the side here and here is the historic Rogers Theater. Wow, this has like some Hollywood vibes. A lot of you know, you see a lot of theaters across the the US that have that kind of Hollywood architecture. This is very Hollywood in North Carolina. This is nice and it is for sale. 700 seat theater right here for sale. Best offer, I would imagine. I'm not seeing any price tag. But look at this. Nice. Did you ever go see a movie here? Never. Never been in there. How long has it been closed for, if you had to guess? Uh, several years, I would say. Right here, you can see where they removed the ticket booth. Yeah. We've got a picture of the Bobby record right here. I guess that's how it looked before. So it became a record store after the theater? That's Jay Z on there. And this is awesome. I love this architecture so much. And these doors just scream old Hollywood. North Carolina version of old Hollywood. I feel like I'm on the corner of Hollywood and Highland right now. Go to Mel's Diner. That is so cool. The old rusted out signage spelling Rogers up there. I love it. All 
I are now approaching. Look at this beauty. Have a nice day. Coke and a smile. Right there on the side of this auto and truck repair business. You said this has been retouched up recently? Yep, probably about a year or so ago. About a year ago it was retouched up. That is a thing of beauty. Oh, I hear a train. I hear the train a coming. All right, we're now pulling down this road that was used in the Hunger Games. Was it the first first Hunger Games? Yep, the first one. First Very one first series. one. They used this red building that now says P&M Merchandise. I don't know the film very well, so I'm just kind of going off of a little bit of memory, but I don't have them etched in my head. The scenes that were filmed here were towards the beginning of the movie, and that building just passed. The beginning of the first film? Yep. How many? There were three, right? This one, too. Yep, there were three total. District 12, I think, was the name of the area that they were filming the scenes from. Look at all those birds up there. Mm -hmm. A bunch of vultures or crows or something. A little hunger impromptu Hunger Games filming location. Somebody would be proud of them birds, wouldn't they? Who would be proud? <laughs> you don't remember your own line? Come no, on. wait, I tried to get you to say it. <laughs> Who would be proud? Hitchcock. There you go. <laughs> Hitchcock would be proud. <laughs> I was hoping you would say it. <laughs> I thought you were proud. <laughs> I was trying to get you to say it. It didn't work. Okay, we've now arrived at the Earl Owensby Studio since 1973. And it appears they are tearing this out. So what happened here? What's the significance of this place when it goes to what was filmed here? Uh, so the movie, The Abyss, parts of uh, parts of the movie, just a couple scenes I think were filmed actually down this road right here. The James Cameron movie, The Abyss? Some other yep. parts were filmed in South Carolina about 20 or 30 minutes from here. Yeah, I know the one place in South Carolina was like an abandoned like reactor where they filmed like the underwater scenes. Yeah, they filled it full of water and shot all the underwater scenes from the reactor. But I don't... I don't. Re which scenes were here? Do you have any idea? Not exactly sure. But exactly James Cameron was on this property. Yep. The property is no longer accessible yep. and, and no longer a studio. On the other side of the gate, you drive down the road, and there's actually a, a, a small, short, uh, plain landing strip down there, and there's some other buildings that he kept all the props and things in. And these buildings up here, one of them, I think that they uh, they did some filming in, and the one past it was one that they did, uh, they had like actors that could stay in like rooms, almost like a little hotel. Who knew so much, who much movie history was here? Oh, here, look up here. Those are some of them. Rottweiler? Rutherford County. Rock. That sounds like a tear, I never seen Rottweiler. That sounds like something I could really sink my teeth into. Because this, you know, it's a dog with like vicious fangs. Mm -hmm. Also, Chain Gang? Hyperspace, the beginning out of all these I see up here, I am going to look up Rottweiler because that sounds amazing. Let me zoom in on these. Okay, Hyperspace had Chris Elliott in it from Cabin Boy and Paula Poundstone, the comedian. So that sound familiar to you? I know the actresses and the actors, the actor, and David Allen Coe was in Country Girl. <laughs> wow. Yeah, a little movie history here in North Carolina. Didn't even know about this place. This was the main office. And there probably was some sort of a sculpture there that's been removed. So down at the bottom, you were saying, is a landing strip. Yep where he'd fly his plane in and out and have the actors fly in and out. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is open. You see, that's like, this, they've like taken the doors off. Yeah, I think that building, that part of it, they've done tore down. Now it's just a cow pasture. I'm guessing that road right there is the landing strip. That does make sense that that road is the landing strip. Yeah, this is like a whole complex. So they're just going to tear all this out. A-framed home. 
So you think James Cameron probably flew in and landed right on that landing strip, right, right there. I would imagine so. I, I would highly doubt that James Cameron drove all the way from Los Angeles out here and did a did a, a trip. Yeah. Probably flew right into here. Because the next main airport would probably be Charlotte or Greensboro. Yep. But even that's kind of a ways. What was that film, like 1990, 89, somewhere in there? The Abyss was probably early 90s. Maybe late 80s, but I'm going to say, if I had to guess, if I was like on a game show, I'd probably guess early 90s. And these rooms is where the actors and actresses would stay after they landed here, all the different productions. And of course we looked it up and the Abyss was 1989. That's close. Yep. This is all being demolished. A little cherub here. This angel. Hey, you can see they've torn down that side of the building over there already. They've already started. Either that or a strong gale force wind came through and tore it out. Either way, it's gone. Now this is slightly unusual. This light is on, but it is like permeating a green aura around itself. Very green. It's during the day, it's overcast, so you can see it pretty well. But this light is illuminating green right there on the side of the building at this now closed movie facility. I don't know why I pointed that out, but I found it interesting. It's like a tractor beam, but pulled me in. Some good attention to detail. All right, we're now over, down, I cannot speak. We're, we made it to the town of Boiling Springs, your hometown. Yep, 25 years. You've lived here 25 years. You're gonna give me the inside scoop. One town, one university, one community left off one thing, there's one, one stoplight, just there's, one. There's only one stoplight? Yep. We gotta see the stoplight. I wanna see this one stoplight. Got the water tower there. Boiling Springs. There's the post office, zip code, well, area code, 28017. That'd be a zip code, not an area code. Went ahead and parked looking at this mural here of this cow head and horns on the side. And then over here, at the base of the water tower is this classic bug alert all painted up. It says shop at the mill. But this is a restaurant across the street. What was this before it was a restaurant? It used to be an old movie theater. You walk that in, there's a seating area, and then there's this ramp you go down, and you can kind of tell where the screen would have been, and there's more seating around there now, but it used to be you could you could definitely tell that was a movie theater just from the style of one screen theater. So it has the you, if you were to go inside, it has like almost like the incline mm -hmm. going down towards the front of it. It does. It's still there. Italian Garden. They have a Pizza Hot oven and subs. Pretty good food too. Did you ever go to a movie there? I didn't. It was before your time. Yeah, it was before my time. And how long have you lived in this town? Uh, I was born in 1985 and I lived here 25 years. 25 years. Before then. So you've lived in North Carolina your whole life? Yep. Yeah. You were also telling me that these, this used to be a dry town until a couple years ago. So two years ago you got your first bar here. Yep, it's just right down the road in uh, the convenience stores. They sell beer. Finally, finally not a dry county or just a town? Just a town right here, Boiling Springs. Because just the, Boiling uh, Springs. Because the university is here. It's a, it's a Christian school. Okay. But they've overturned that and now you can get yourself a... Yep. Alcoholic beverage, if you so choose. There's a bar right down the road. It's just just one bar, so they're pretty successful, I believe. I would, ima <laughs> would imagine so. And directly in front of us is the one traffic light. Just the one. Well, the one traffic light intersection. A couple different lights are going di this direction and that direction, but this is the only intersection in town that has a traffic light. And directly across from the traffic light is the snack that, shop. Uh, that bell tower up there is the one that was on the mural earlier when we were in Shelby. Same one. The one over there, just through the foliage of the trees. Yep. 
Yeah. I'm excited about seeing this boil, the real life boiling springs where the town got the name. I would imagine this is it. Just gotta go around the little standing water in the mud here. Don't know for certain, but this is the only thing that looks like where a boiling spring would be boiling up from. Just looks like standing water. Yeah. I'm pretty sure this is it. The water's standing because it's, it's rained so much recently. So it's not as bubbling up as I thought it would be. I was expecting it to just be kind of gushing up. It is moving though. You can see a little movement down in there. Now, do you think it's actually warm? Do you think it's boiling? Probably not. <laughs> do you think it's it's got to be some sort of warmth to it? I'm not sure. I'm going to fall in this. That would not be good. This is it. It's not springing up. Let's see if it's, let's see what the temperature's like. You know, it's warmer than I thought it would be, but it's definitely not boiling. Is it moving right there? It is moving kind of over through here. So it's kind of underneath. Oh, the, right there, yeah. The rocks right there. Right there. Yeah, it's not warm, but it's not cold. It's definitely not like room temperature. It's warmer than that. Yeah, it's bubbling up from right there. Okay, that's sure one is. of the points. Hmm. That's it. We found this. We found the spring. The boiling spring. I'm going to attempt to lean over. Okay, it's actually warmer coming out of here. Really? Yeah, it's warmer coming out of here. That's not boiling at all. No, you're right, it is a little warmer. But it is warmer. Yeah. That's pretty neat. Mm -hmm. We've discovered the boiling spring! Thanks to the sign telling us where it was. With the clock tower up there and the slowly effervescent boiling up, springing up from the ground, boiling, well, lukewarm water. So it's not like a hot spring, hot spring that you could, you know, like a hot tub style, nothing like that. That's where the town got its name, right here. And right here by the flagpole, is a little information plaque. The Boiling Spring. Natural springs have always been gathering places when people began settling in the area in 1847. A couple kind of dilapidated buildings here on the outskirts. What's the population here, if you had to guess? Uh, a couple thousand? Well, with the, Something like that. Maybe, with the campus, five probably to 10, more. 000, maybe five to ten? Could have been a garage. So, boy, that's a nice little tiny house right there. Look at that with the porch out front. They painted the bikes here on the side of the brick. Many years ago. Yeah, probably 15 to 20 years ago. 15 to 20 years ago. And all the town folk would be standing right along here or sitting in their chairs watching all the bikes go by. With the, right the town, right with the freshly painted mural here of the bikes. See, I would have just assumed that this was a bike shop, but there's more to the story that you knew about that I would, I would have just guessed and gotten it wrong. You got the three bikers up there. They no longer do that bike race through town. Did it go all through the state or just through the town? Straight through the town, all the way down this way, and they probably continued on to the state line. I'm not sure where they went after that, but it was definitely right through here because people had their chairs out and they were all lined up on both sides of the road. Yeah, them out. that's neat. And over here, you can kind of tell what this was. The building was established in 1875. Take a look up here. Dated 1875, this building right here. Yeah, first. It looked like a 1975, but closer inspection, 1875. And this is up for interpretation on what this says. CJ, CJ something right there. Or 
his great grandfather's name. CJ, what was the last name? Hamrick. CJ Hamrick. And you guys still own? He says 18, it's 1875. I know. That's awesome. So it's still in the family. Yes, sir. Say so we actually just just sold the uh, property a few months ago at the outside of the family. We're now pulling into Mooresville. Mooresboro. Mooresboro. Yep. Mooresboro right here. This is the downtown. Just one block of downtown. Mooresboro. Take a look at this. How do the locals pronounce it? Moesboro. Moesboro. With a Z. Now I would say Mooresboro, but the locals say Moesboro with a Z. Yep. And got the town hall here. It says hope. Peace, love, and joy. Still has the Happy New Year up, even though we're into February. And parked over to the side is this mascot here. Fredrickson's good old-fashioned service. Got the box and it says Rush on the side. Not the band, but a rush to be, you gotta be in a rush to, you know, to deliver the package. No need for a rush around here. No one rush, it, rush here in Mosbur Mosborough? No. Nah. <laughs> Mo is it Mosborough? Mosborough. Mosborough. Not Mo's. Yep, with yep. a M O E S, but an M O Z. M O Z. Even though it's Mooresville. It looks like there's a former gas station, maybe, right there, next to this junkyard. Going back by what I just showed. Old Chevy truck. Uh, there is a longhorn steer right there. Longhorn cattle all through here. A lot of them. Look at that. Wasn't making eye contact, staring right at having a little staring contest. How's it going? You don't really see too many longhorn cows like this. Sure don't. Is that pretty common in North Carolina? No. Nah. I don't remember seeing any anywhere else, right off the top of my head. It's like a whole herd of them, a couple dozen. Now off to the side over here is a grid of solar panels. A very large grid of solar panels. Heading back over into Shelby now. Heading back that direction, kind of where we started. This is a huge grid of solar panels. Keeps going and going. Is it ever going to end? A mile or two long. Just when you think it's over, it starts again. We may eventually do the other side of the road too. Rumor. The rumor is to go on the other side of the road with. Yep. They aren't, but they might. Okay, I think that's the end of them. Yep. Ooh, that was a big solar panel grid. Going by the Shelby Water Tower now, one of a couple Shelby Water Towers here in town. And we're going to end up with going by the fairgrounds. See if we can see the big Ferris wheel by the fairgrounds that we talked about at the beginning. It's called the short stop. None, the, null gas. We have. Am I reading that correctly? <laughs> I think I read that correctly. Arrive now at the Cleveland County Fairgrounds celebrated their 95th anniversary back in 2019. The biggest annual event. And I meant to say water wheel, not Ferris wheel. And also the second water tower is over there in the distance. Now can you see the water wheel from here? If it's still here, you can. If it's still here. See it? Oh yeah, it's right here. This was on that mural we started at the beginning of the day. The water wheel. Yep. If you're here when the fair is going on and someone's looking for you, back in the day before there were cell phones and all that, yeah, they would pay you. Please come to the water wheel. Your ride's waiting on you or whatever. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, all the time. That's pretty neat. Please meet you at meet your party at the water wheel. There's also some bottles there, little bottle trees under the base of this. And the stadium here is is made up for the demolition derby. I was thinking rodeo grounds. You said it's for the demolition derby. 
You ever witnessed the demolition derby? Several times. That's pretty fun. Yep. I was thinking it was going to be way on the property. We wouldn't be able to see it, but you can see it here from, from the gate. Old timey entry point into the fair. This is gate one. Love a good fair. Now, I would not have guessed this, but you stated that this was a pickup only Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut. Yep. Not the traditional style Pizza Hut, which they don't even make anymore, you know, from the 80s, maybe even predated that. You couldn't eat inside, you just go through this drive through window. What did it become after the pizza place? After that, it was a, a store that sold cigarettes and beer. And uh, the last business it was was a, a mail bonds business. I don't even know if it's still... Still even active. Open anymore. Now you say you had beer because we're not in the same town. We're in a different town that sold beer, yep. unlike... Boiling Springs. Boiling Springs, yep. which only till two years ago. So you have to drive all the way over here to this, what was a pizza hut, to get your brewskis. Yep. It'd be an option for me. Yeah, I would have never guessed this was a Pizza Hut. Interesting. I can see it now. <laughs> All right, back where we began, or at least in the same vicinity, the coffee shop is over there. And that's going to do it for today. Big thanks to Coastal Things. Yep. Two words on YouTube. Check it out. Two words, but I say it as one. Coastal Things. Yep. <laughs> Next time when I come through this area, when it's warmer, you got to take me on a hike somewhere. Show me some waterfalls and things like that. That's what you focus on mostly. Yep. So I appreciate you showing me around. Waterfall, maybe even see a, we'll see a, uh, some plane wreckage out in the woods, maybe. That would be <laughs> awesome. See some some history like it like that. It has to be a little warmer though, and non-rainy. It cleared up, but it is still cold. Definitely. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is over. And one last last look at this beautiful. Coca-Cola mural. Had to show this one last time. That is a thing of beauty.